Good morning, Cardinal Ambrose. Today is Wednesday, April the 22nd, 2020. Today we celebrate Earth Day, and so very shortly I will have a prayer uh, for this special day. But before we do that, I would like to pray some intentions or ask for your prayer requests for the following intentions. Our school community, uh, in a very um, personal way, has been affected by the coronavirus. And so this morning, uh, we pray first for uh, two sisters, uh, their grade nine students, Kimberly and Ashley Jimenez. And I understand that both Kimberly and Ashley, along with their family, are back home or back in the Philippines and are trying to get home or trying to get a flight back home. I believe they've been there since the March break and uh, it's been very difficult to get back home. And so we pray for their safe return. We also have um, two students in our school who have requested for prayers where they have been personally affected, uh, at least their families have been personally affected by the current COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, we pray for return to full health and we also pray for their safety. And we continue to pray this morning for all the people of Nova Scotia. I know some of our staff yesterday reached out to me uh, who are from Nova Scotia. And so we pray for their families. We pray for now the 19 people that have been killed. And again, this story continues to build uh, in the uh, hours uh, that followed the massacre. And so this morning, as we keep in mind all these prayer intentions, let us also celebrate today Earth Day. And it is Earth Day where the whole international community is thinking about how we treat the earth, how we treat one another, how we sell our goods, how we use our lands. These are all very, very important questions. And this morning for our prayer, I will be taking a prayer from this booklet, uh, which was published by our uh, Holy Father, Pope Francis, back in 2015, Laudato Si. And this is Care for Our Common Home. And it is in this booklet where the Pope uh, illustrates and also in very great detail talks about how as people we are primarily responsible for the care of our home. And so this morning, let us pray together a prayer for our earth. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. All powerful God, you are present in the whole universe and in the smallest of your creatures. You embrace with your tenderness all that exists. Pour out upon us the power of your love that we may protect life and beauty. Fill us with peace that we may live as brothers and sisters, harming no one. O God of the poor, help us to rescue the abandoned and forgotten of this earth, so precious in your eyes. Bring healing to our lives that we may protect the world and not prey on it, that we may sow beauty, not pollution and destruction. Touch the hearts of those who look only for gain at the expense of the poor and of the earth. Teach us to discover the worth and value of each thing, to be filled with awe and contemplation, to recognize that we are profoundly united with every creature as we journey towards your infinite light. We thank you, Lord, for being with us each day. Encourage us, we pray, in our struggle for justice, love, and peace. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now together, please join me as we pray the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, good morning, Cardinal Ambrosic. Just a, a few announcements for you this morning. Tonight, our Spilling Tea segment continues. It is our second Spilling Tea segment. And it, was, it will be on Instagram Live at Ambrosic Chaplaincy. So again, that's at Ambrosic Chaplaincy tonight at 8 p.m. Spilling Tea. And we will have with us Nicholas Felice. Yes, a graduate of Cardinal Ambrosic, an active member of St. Patrick's Church, where he leads the children's liturgy, a student at York University in the concurrent Bachelor of Ed 
program. Uh, we will discuss many, many things, including his unique role at Cardinal Ambrosic as he helps out in the Office of Chaplaincy. And it'll be an hour of great fun, an hour that you can't miss. So join us tonight, 8 p.m. at Ambrosic Chaplaincy for our Spilling Tea segment. Also, uh, there will be an email forwarded to all students. It's also been posted on social media at Ambrosic Chaplaincy, as well at on Twitter at Ambrosic Chap, that are new office hours for students, so our new drop-in office hours. So, no different than what we were doing at school, where my door is open and students were able to come in and out as they please, and to just hang out for some fellowship and conversation. Uh, that will take place every Monday, beginning next Monday, between 4 and and 5 p.m. You have spoken and I am listening. 11 a.m. was way, or sorry, 12 p.m. was way too early for you. So we have moved that to Mondays at the start of the week as well. Maybe you're not as busy with schoolwork between four and five. Again, it is posted on our Instagram account at Ambrosic Chaplaincy, as well on our Twitter account at Ambrosic Chap. And uh, please join us every Monday. 4 to 5 p.m. Again, you can follow us every day here on YouTube at Cardinal Ambrosa Catholic Secondary School Office of Chaplaincy for your daily morning prayer and announcements. Cardinal Ambrosic, happy Earth Day. God bless you, and we'll see you tomorrow.